Hello there. Welcome to another edition of Dateline Lagos. I'm Loretta Chiogo. Work on Lekki Deep Sea Port to commence next month as Governor Ambody seeks collaboration with Dangote Group and the China Africa Lekki Investment Limited. Governor Ambody commissions ultra-modern bus terminal in Lagos Island and the newly built pedestrian bridge at Ojota. Governor Ambody pledges to collaborate with the federal government on projects in Lagos State. Lagos State University Lasu gets government assurance for the construction of a 6,000-bed hostel as the former state tertiary institution turns out over 36,000 at its 21st convocation ceremony. Stakeholders in the export industry brainstorm on ways to rejuvenate export potentials in a recessed economy. Now, let's begin with road infrastructure. The state governor demonstrated this by commissioning the new ultra-modern bus terminal at the Tafa Balewa Square as part of his plan to transform the Lagos Island into a tourism hub and a newly built pedestrian bridge to accommodate high human traffic in Ojota area of the state. His activities for the day began with a visit to facilities at the Lekki Free Trade Zone. Yes, the meeting between Governor Akiwumi Ambodi and the board and management of Lekki Free Zone Development Company was to update the governor on activities at the zone. Those in attendance, including members of the State Executive Council, paid attention as the progress report was being presented by the chairman of Lekki Free Zone Development Company, Mr. Abiodun Dabiri. He explained that with recent increase in investment in the zone, there is need for the expansion of the road networks and other fiscal infrastructure to accommodate more investors. Governor Mbode said he was satisfied with the pace of development in the zone. He promised to release the state government's counterpart funding to advance ongoing infrastructure, especially Lekki Deep Sea Port. Even though we had paid areas, and I've also seen that the, uh, the Chinese group have also paid their own counterpart funding. We will now accelerate to clear the, all the investment, all the um, outstanding backlog up to 2017, as you have shown. So, in essence, we expect that in the next six months, we'll be having an investment of 60, 60 what's that, that's $63 million put by us. We put our own $15 million and uh, putting $62 million at this time. Obviously, we improve on the infrastructure here. We believe that we accelerate the water provision, also the inner road networks, and all the facilities. The whole essence of putting this $63 million together is to be able to attract more investors. I've seen the improvement within the last time I came, and now there are more companies that have been able to come here. And then with the improvement of the internal road network and other facilities, obviously, we have more, more companies coming here. But the most critical part of it is the commencement of the, like, the port. The port is very critical to us. Like we have said, no matter how much investment that we put into this Lekki Free Trade Zone, if the construction of the port does not commence, we are not likely to get our investment or return on our investment back. So it's very critical that that port construction commences and where we do not see traction, we might be compelled to take a review of what that agreement is all about. That's, that's what I just have to say here. After the meeting, Governor Ampode took a tour of some of the facilities and investment within the Lekki Free Zone. The next port of call for the governor was the Tafawa Balewa Square, where he commissioned the new ultra modern bus terminal. On this day, Friday, 24th of March, 2017, to the glory of God. The bus terminal has been redeveloped and redesigned to enhance the face of public transport and provide a more convenient environment for commuters. Governor Kiyomiambode told the gathering of community leaders and transport unions by the bus terminal as part of his administration's plan to regenerate Lagos Island. 
I want to create a new set of aesthetics within the landscape of the island that will create new jobs and bring dignity back to all the people living on the island. So the whole idea is that this bus terminal that we are opening today is just the beginning of the urban regeneration that will cover this place within the next 24 months. The state governor said he will employ adequate technology-based security and law enforcement officers to avert any form of vandalism. <laughs> governor Ambadi also commissioned the newly built pedestrian bridge at Ojota. I commissioned this pedestrian bridge okay, okay. for the usage of mankind Sorry. the glory of God. The new bridge was built to complement an already existing one, which is overstretched by huge pedestrian traffic. Ojota, where we are presently, is one of the gateways into Lagos. And it's always, always experiencing heavy vehicular traffic, which is why we install rails in the middle of the road. That's the wire mesh to stop people from crossing the highway. But inadvertently, we have found out that the old pedestrian bridge at the Ojota Junction is not sufficient enough to handle the human traffic in this neighborhood. And in response to that, you all asked that we should give you additional pedestrian bridge we have kept our promise. We are not giving you just a new bridge. This is the best presidential bridge you can find in sub-Saharan Africa. You can see it. It's made of steel. It will be up 24-7. And there is adequate security to ensure that the Ojota Aziz never remains the same again. I urge you to continue to support our government and protect all the assets and projects that we are rendering to you. The Lagos State Government is encouraging the use of footbridge, thereby reducing accidents associated with crossing the expressway. This, our able governor, Ambode, is doing a great job. I came to this Ojota 1969, when it was a bush area. But I have seen a difference. You are doing a marvelous job. Because the second bridge now, I told you that I'm more than happy. The new footbridge is designed to accommodate the physically challenged. The Lagos State Government promised to replicate the quality of this infrastructure at other major highways across the state.